Hi, it's Mark Mancini from VRB Outstanding. This week's episode is on smart locks. So this week, we're going to talk about the variety of different smart locks that are out there and why every vacation home needs one, the benefits of them, and also all the little secrets that I usually reveal only in my VRB Outstanding course. So first, I want to mention one thing that's vitally important, a lockbox. Now, a lockbox is something you need to have as a secondary backup, and here's why. A smart lock of any sort will become a dumb lock at the most inopportune times. So what I mean by that is whether it's the battery dying, a Wi-Fi connection, or some other, uh, maybe the strike plate is, is off kilter and it's not opening or closing properly. You need to have a physical key as a backup. So you should always have a lock box similar to this and I recommend Fastening this to the structure of the house securely and in an inconspicuous place so that um, people should be able to find it only if they're looking for it, okay? Uh, and put the key in there for that house. Now, uh, the, this has actually saved me a couple times and I know some of you who use smart locks know the importance of having this as a backup. You don't want that two o'clock in the morning phone call from a guest who can't get in, okay? So always have this as a backup. Now let's talk about the different kinds of smart locks. There are the generic ones <clears throat> that you've seen Schlage and Yale and a couple other ones have it. They're not attached to Wi-Fi or anything else. It is strictly a, a code that'll last probably even the whole season. Okay, and you can put several codes on there. The problem with that is that code will last all season, so a guest can come back at a later time and have access to it. It may be shared across with other people, and so it is a security concern, and that is why you can use those locks, but it is not the most secure. You want to get something where the lock not only can be changed as the guest uses it for the weeks that they're staying there, but also it has a log and that log will know what, what code was used at what time, so you can track who was in the house in a certain window of period of time. So, the regular uh, codes, uh, they're a lot less expensive. They're about 100 bucks or so, and again, you can program up to several codes in them. It's okay for starters, or if you cannot find one of the smarter ones, but uh, this is the one you want to go with. Now, there are a couple different types that Schlage and Yale and some other ones make. There's something called Z-Wave technology. Not a fan. Uh, again, I've been in IT 40 years. Z-Wave is kind of an older technology. It, it's got some merits, but it really never caught on. You're going to want to go with one that is strictly Wi-Fi based. Now, a couple reasons why I like the Schlage and Yale over some of the other ones. Uh, for instance, Eufy uh, makes one, August, uh, August Locks makes one, and there's some other ones as well, Nest and so forth. So the big difference between Yale and Schlage and the other ones is this. Yale and Schlage have these tumblers, okay? Now these tumblers are your key backup, and locksmiths, no matter where you are, will be familiar with them and be able to rekey these. Now, the importance is, suppose you have a home with multiple doors and you want to have more than one of these smart locks on your property, you're going to want to key them all the same, okay? So, uh, getting a locksmith out there to key these tumblers is going to be real easy. They're familiar with them. They have all the parts. Not a problem. I'm going to give you another VRB Outstanding secret right here. Let's just say you have multiple properties, whether they're in the same town or different towns. You can key them all alike and have one key for all your properties. Now, if you are, say, in a condo and you've got several units in that condo, may or may not be the best idea, but think about this. If you've got homes that are a mile apart or several homes within a county, 
isn't it better to carry around that one key than look around for the five or six different keys that you have? So getting a brand like a Yale or a Schlage, your locksmith can key these all the same. It's a beautiful thing to do. Also, if you have a management company, it makes it easier on them as well. So that's the big thing with the, lay, the Schlage and the Yale locks. Now, some of the other ones will still have a key, but use different tumblers, and that could become an issue. Some of the newer ones don't even have the locks, the physical lock as a backup. They rely strictly on the code, an app, or fingerprint. And I maintain that that's going to be an issue for your guests. Maybe they're good for a permanent home or your second vacation home, but for a short-term vacation rental, probably not the best thing. Now, another thing too about the Eufy I'm going to mention, I love their other products. Um, Eufy has a camera system built into their lock with two cameras, one at the uh, eye level or face level, torso level of the guest, another one at a lower level for dogs and for uh, packages that uh, your carrier may have left for you. So I think that's a really cool idea, but Eufy is not utilized with some of the other platforms as far as an interface yet. I hope that happens soon. Because aside from getting these smart locks, which they have apps, and you can change the lock manually on any of your locks, easily, securely, no matter where you are. But, and here's the big but, okay? The big but is you can make this whole process automated. So would you rather 50 times a year replace uh, the codes, the four-digit code for a guest manually, or do you want to have it automated? I'm Mr. Automation. When our customers book with us, once they book, the entire process is automated. We do everything from signed RAs to deposits, travel insurance, damage protection, the house rules, the check-in uh, emails and so forth, all done automated, okay? I'm not a fan of doing anything manually. So if you get something called remote lock, Okay, now remote lock is a service. You'll pay, I think, $6 a month for per lock. Is It's something where it'll, it'll take your, your lock and your lock software to the next level. Okay, now remote lock is great. Works with about a dozen different locks. You can buy the locks direct or you can buy it from Menards, Home Depot, Lowe's, wherever you have the lock. If you have one already, you call up remote lock and then coordinate everything with them. Now, Let's take this a step further, okay? If you have remote lock and you have a PMS system like owner reservations or owner res as we call it, here's where the beauty of automation comes in. Your guest, okay, will not only have the four digit code automatically created an email to them, but that's a four digit code that they have to remember. What owner res and remote locks together will do for you is get the last four digits of your guest's phone number and it creates a four digit code based upon their phone number and it'll go ahead and email them with owner res, you can even text them if you want, the four digit code. So as part of the welcome email or as a separate email, it can go ahead and supply them the four digit code that they're never gonna forget. Now, again, with the owner res and, and remote lock capability, it'll set up for all of your guests staying throughout the course uh, of, of your bookings, but it'll allow the um, check-in times and check-out times to match when that code is good for. So if your check-in time is four o'clock, a guest cannot use that code at three o'clock. They can use it at four o'clock, okay? Now you can set it to give yourself a window of an hour or so if you want, but the standard default is going to be the time of your check-in. Now that four digit code at checkout will expire. So the guest can't come back two hours later. If they forgot something, they can't come back and use that same lock code. They have to reach out to you. This forms an extra level of protection. So if someone shares that four digit code with all their guests or they give it to maybe a Publix delivery in case they're getting a grocery delivery, that code is simply not going to work after they leave. So your guests are going to have safety and security each and every week. You're going to have a log of what code was used on what days and what time, and everything is going to be automated. And for some of you out there, even with one home, 
well, Mark, why do I have to automate this? Well, one major reason is suppose you forget. Okay. And that happens a lot. Guests will frequent or guests will go to check in and the host didn't go ahead and supply them the code. So automation removes those problems. And again, for the price of what you're going to pay for owner res and remote lock, it really takes that part of it out. And uh, I'm a huge, huge fan of that. So just to reiterate one more time, uh, always have your lockbox for your backup. Get a smart key, a smart code, code uh, door lock, which has a key as a backup. And try to automate as many processes as you can. That's going to be huge for your growth and, growth and scalability as you go to add more properties. Now, before I conclude this episode, I do want to talk about one thing. We, we had a few episodes about logos and branding and the importance of that. We also talked about what gifts to leave for guests. Again, I'm still not a fan of leaving food or, or wine. It's nice if you want to do that, that's fine. I'm not a fan of alcohol, but food is snack wise. If you want to leave some chips, some, uh, some candy bars, whatever, no problem. But remember, after they eat that, that's gone away and people don't remember. We just uh, got the opportunity to see our, our hats that got delivered uh, about several weeks ago. Uh, we didn't get a chance to go down to Florida, but these are the new giveaway we have for one of our new short-term rentals, Heart of Murata. And we have two of these gorgeous hats that we give to guests with uh, our thank you note, which has uh, got the correct verbiage to get those five-star reviews each and every week. But this is a great hat. It's a cotton hat. It's adjustable. Um, the guests are loving these things because they'll get down to the keys. They're going to wish they had a hat. They forgot to bring one. They don't want to buy one. Boom, we give them two of them. Um, this was something that my wife and I went on our honeymoon to Aruba, went to a resort called Ocean Z. Phenomenal place if you ever get a chance to go there. A great boutique hotel right on the water. Um, they had a similar hat uh, as this, and my wife fell in love with it. And I figured, well, if she fell in love with it. I'm sure if we put a logo for our short-term rental on here, others will as well. So again, always logo and advertise the heck out of your short-term rentals. This gets you direct bookings. So I want to thank you for joining us this week on Smart Locks with your short-term vacation rental and look forward to seeing you next week. But please remember to not only hit like and subscribe, ask any questions below and tell your friends because we're out to make this short-term rental community VRB outstanding. <laughs>